after a long time i'm sharing another post on pega that is uh, how to send an email from pega system to any email server that is a very common uh, requirement and uh, every project almost is having this requirement so to configure this sending an email we have to configure so many other things those are we need an email account and we have to invoke that uh, through a process or uh, some variant activity so we'll see the same thing uh, let's uh, come to my screen all right so this is my case type rental reservation <coughs> this is a dummy uh, consider it uh, and this is created for uh, learning purpose so in the first process of this uh, uh, stage identify customer what i want to do is after login i want to send a mail to the customer saying that uh, logged in successfully okay so this is my requirement so remember you cannot send any email from pega until unless you have an email account so related with my example if you want to send any courier to your uh, parents you need to have your own address first if you don't mention your address they will not take your document so definitely you need your identity your uh, account then only you can send a message you can relate it with one more example let's say you want to send a friend request or message in facebook to me how can you send it you need to have a facebook account if you don't have an account you cannot send an email or you can ping me so definitely you need to have an account so that is the first requirement how we are going to configure it that is our job so that account we say in pega as email account so since it's an integration go to integration email and email wizard now here you see the different options available what you have to do is since you are not going to receive an email from a different system uh, that configuration we are not working on we are working on configuring an email account select the second option now we have uh, <coughs> an option to associate the work pool so that means uh, every case we work on is associated to a work pool so whether we want to associate that work pool with this email account or not so it can have we have different work pools available so we can say this department sales department will use this email id let's say i'm working on amazon so sales department of amazon will use am sales at the rate amazon.com like that if i'm working on uh, uh, marketing of uh, amazon then marketing team will use email id as marketing at the rate amazon.com something like that so every work pool can have their own email account so here this work pool i'm going to configure the email account so now would you like to use the and remember to set this uh, email account you need to have an actual email account for example let's say you told to your friend uh, hey buddy ping me uh, in whatsapp and uh, you told uh, that account which doesn't exist you told uh, ping me on uh, uh, ramsigodson.com and you saw that there is no name with ramsigodson available in uh, facebook so it will not work so definitely you do need to have a real account available on that email server which can be tagged to this work pool so now uh, there is one more option would you like to make this uh, email as a default email that means uh, uh, let's say i have three or four uh, work pool and if there is no uh, email associated with it then this email account will be used that means say this will become the default for it if they have their own email account then they it will override consider with this example i told you marketing team and sales team in amazon so let's say marketing team is having their own email id but sales team is not having their own id and amazon has created a default account uh, service at the rate uh, amazon.com so when marketing team is not having their email id so it will use a default account but the sales team is having their account so sales team will o account will override the default account so that is the purpose of this option let me go to the next option 
yeah this is our account name so just give the account name meaningful uh, customer notification customer notify so now every email will belong to service provider there are so many service provider available so choose your uh, service provider so i'm going to select gmail account now the email address so i'm going giving my email address display name is the name which you will be displayed in the mailbox that this person came from this person and this is his name user id he is the same as email id uh, mention the same email id here now password password is your uh, gmail password so let me enter my password now reply to this you can give anything abc um, and if you want to uh, reply so this is the id that will be used but that is not our goal uh, let's give anything now remember port so why port what is smtp remember when we want to send an email that uses a protocol called smtp simple mail transfer protocol and uh, for this type of protocol different ports are available when we receive an email we use a different protocol those are imap and pop3 either one of these two so now you can just google it uh, smtp port number so you will see, see three port numbers you just try with 587 here without uh, smtp and uh, we'll try to see whether the connection is getting established or not if not then we'll try to change the port now we do have an option of receiver so this is the sender information we have configured it remember the receiver detail is not in scope as of now whatever we have discussed with the requirement so we are going to fill it with the dummy details but uh, it can be meaningful when some other important scenario is there so as of now i will use the same sender's id for receiver and uh, that's it so i can click next now click next and done now the same detail i can see under the email account refresh yep so now save it try to do the test connection to see whether the connection is established with the configuration whatever we have done or not so yeah i see everything is done if you get an error you can ping me and it will guide you all right so this is also is of no need as of now but uh, you can do the test connection so the sender identity is configured now we are going to use it in our case type so my case type is rental reservation let me open the first process uh, what i'm going to do is when uh, customer uh, login i am going to send a message that uh, customer has logged in successfully thank you uh, remember this uh, sending mail can be more made more dynamic uh, more uh, content uh, uh, specific uh, based on user those things can be done in pega and it's easy main thing is this configuration so i'm going to add a new shape here send email and uh, just the, after the login this will be triggered so sending it now come to the send email configuration so i want to send email to tell me any id so what i will do is i'll send to my mother id so my mother id i will try to send an email okay sorry this is my father's id so i'm going to send email to this subject uh, customer logged in successfully and now message i want to use a correspondence i do not have template created i will create it login success so this i'm going to create a template this will help me to uh, remove this uh, custom message typing and this can be used at multiple places so here uh, i hello sir you have logged in 
to our portal successfully regards abc team to save it and then uh, save the flow so we are ready with everything now we may get the problem that will resolve at the runtime so create a flow and let me log in here oh sorry this flow is stale actually so let me refresh it okay let me log in with my father's id all right i logged in successfully let me create a new case i created a new case there's just a dummy one so let me complete the first step after this the email gets triggered so as of now you don't see any email attachment advance this case now email triggered successfully it triggered from my id to uh, this id i have logged in here and you can see them sorry this is not the message this is old one which i had done earlier for practice uh, you have not seen the latest message actually so i will be waiting for uh, some time to load the message okay so now email has loaded successfully hello sir you have logged in to our portal successfully so this email has been triggered from pega and it used this id so this id is now associated with pega and uh, this name we have shown to you while entering that this name will be shown and uh, this email now we can send using this account uh, so that means i have given an identity to pega to use this account and now it can send to anybody any email id and you can test it so this is how we configure actually uh, email account in pega and uh, we can uh, send a notification there are various requirements uh, you can do dynamic content you can to uh, decide which customer to send not using the hard coded uh, uh this text which we have uh, mentioned here this can be made dynamic actually so whatever you see here this this we have hard coded but this can be made dynamic so that will be done using the operator rule i will open uh and will decide whether this operator is the one that i have to send and i will go open that and we'll see what is the email id based on that i will decide and send so that can be made dynamic the content can be made dynamic so these all dynamic uh, can be done very easily but in short this is what configuration you need to do to send in any email from pega so i hope you liked it and please do subscribe and like more on my post and uh, let me know for the topic which you want me to create Thank you.